Hello, cut card stock friends. This is Maureen, and I have the cutest little project for you guys today. It's a strawberry berry basket with a card. Let me show you how we get started. So first, I'm taking the awesome craft twine cardstock paper, and I'm gonna cut it into a square. In this case, I did an eight and a half by eight and a half. I just take my cutter and make sure it's a nice even square. Now it's only because I had an eight and a half by 11 paper size, but you could do a 12 by 12 if you wanted a bigger basket. Save the extra strip, you'll need it. My next step, is to score the square piece that I cut in two inch by two inch panels on each side. So just flip it all the way around and score it so you have a nice clean folding line. This will allow you to also make the cut lines where you need. Next, grab your scissors because we're gonna cut the corners out of the square. This allows the corners of your basket to fold up nicely. You can follow the score lines and it doesn't have to be perfect because this is one of those projects that you throw together in five minutes when you need it. So we're cutting the last piece of the squares out and then we're gonna go ahead and fold up our box. So take your piece, fold up all four sides, just like shown, super simple to do. I love the craft twine paper because it's so sturdy. Next, grab a stapler, and what we're gonna do is overlap the corners just slightly so that they round and staple each side. Don't worry about the staples showing because it gives a natural look to the basket. Nice and sturdy. Okay, so remember I told you that we were going to um, need our scissors and we're gonna whip this together really quickly. So I took a nice sharp scissors and I'm just cutting a little triangle shape out of two sides of the basket. This becomes the drainage spots in a normal berry basket. And again, it doesn't matter if you measure because it gives it a very natural look. So I flip it around, cut another two triangles and we're all set to go. Super cute. Okay. Remember I said that we were gonna save that piece of paper. So that last little strip, just cut it down the middle in half. It's approximately one and a half inches in width. And now you have two strips which are gonna become the rim of your basket. So notice I haven't yet even pulled out the glue because stapling is working just fine for me and it's actually going to hold the basket nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna take one side of the basket and wrap my strip around the sides. Staple it on each side. I'm preferring to staple it on the side that does not have the triangles. And that way, it'll be sort of my display side, if you will. Make sure to line them up. You, they won't quite meet at the end, and that's okay. If you decide you wanna add a handle or something later on, you can cover that up if you don't love it. There we go. Nice and sturdy. And now we have our little berry basket. Okay, let's get started on the strawberry card. So what I'm doing is taking a heart-shaped die cut and I'm actually laying it over a folded piece of the red cherry paper. This, pair, this paper looks amazing as a strawberry. I cut it through my die cut machine and then I've cut some different leaf shapes in a couple different paper colors. I've chosen the pop tone gumdrop green and that's the bigger color leaf you see. And then I've got the discount light green paper as well, and I've cut a different leaf shape with a punch. I just quickly glue those on. I wanna make sure too that I can fold the card after I glue it on. I am using tacky glue to tack on all of my embellishments. Right now I'm just putting on a small little flower that looks like a little strawberry flower, trimming off some loose edges and making sure that everything's drying appropriately and that my card opens up just nice. To trim your basket, you can add additional ribbon or even add a handle. I usually use glue. And then we're gonna take the glitter, Mirror Sparkle Glitter Black Paper and cut out some little hearts for our strawberry seeds. Here's our strawberry basket. What do you think? 
Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.